Hi guys, you welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, the WAHEP focus as far as uh, 2021 WAHEP practical is concerned. Um, very, very sorry, I also to have upload video on this channel for long, but uh, I'm running a certain project at the time and uh, it actually takes my time. But I'm back now and uh, I'm happy to see you guys again and I'm very sure you'll also be happy to see me. Uh, as far as this year practical is concerned, I want us to understand the focus of this channel as far as physics is concerned. I don't want you to just come to this channel to just watch videos so that you can be able to do your exam only. But I want you to become what? A physicist on your own, such that whatever problem you are having at hand, you will be able to uh, tackle them with little or no assistance. Now, for this year practical, so far, uh, I think people have been uh, taking the practical I've been doing for something else. Something is actually the question that will come out and some will just cram it and just go into the exam. But I'm talking to students this time around. And uh, it's not like that. Let's get it cleared now, guys. You don't need to cram everything you find on my practical page and just go to the exam. No, it's just for you for, for the video to guide you on what you are expecting. Are you getting it now? And uh, why I'm here this afternoon is to discuss what the focus of this year practical is actually like. And I would like you to follow me up one after the other. It's just a short video. And if you are watching, try to watch the end and uh, you see what and what we are actually expecting and I will give you the area of concentration that you need to prepare on while you anticipate for me to upload the actual practical by next week. Also, I will be having a marathon class with you guys on WAHEC this year, that is for the theory and the, uh, for the, theory and the objective. I'm going to have a marathon class on this page and I would like to hear from you if you want it to be a live uh, stream or you just want me to make it on my own and upload it. Whichever one you want, let me know in the comment section. And uh, for those that actually contribute to the building of uh, our own mini uh, laboratory, I really appreciate you guys. Last time we'll make a video on our Neko Practical, I realized 12,000 Naira from the video and uh, a subscriber sent uh, 500 Naira, making 12,500 Naira that we have in total now. Don't forget to assist this project. You know, this particular video you are watching now is sponsored by Kex College. And, uh, you know, all the time, they have always been in support of this channel as far as the practical is concerned. Uh, and I will also want to know if you are the owner also, you can also support the course, just like they have also played their part. And we are a teacher, there's no amount that is too small to invest in this particular project. So far now, we have 2,500 Naira in our course as far as the lab is concerned. Okay, so for today's video, in order for us to wait much of our time, what I want to focus on on this year practical. Okay, if you look at the board, we have question one, and here are the apparatus for question one. And we have question two, and here are the apparatus for question two. And the uh, question three, here are the apparatus for question three. Now, what we need to do now is this. We are going to check this apparatus. I'm talking to teachers now. For you to guide your students on how to carry out this experiment such that they are already like 50% uh, 50 of what the examiner actually wants to set is already exposed to them. So how do you get to know the question to set? You just check this apparatus, go to your past question. There's nothing new again. I must tell you the fact, there's nothing new that wife is going to bring up any fucking exam in the world. They are only changing slight things. So you go to your past question, you look at it, okay, which of this year question relates to this particular one apparatus given to me? Okay, you might not find it in what? In WAHEP, like last year now, the experiments that they actually asked us to look at under MECMIS is not in the past question. But have you checked Cambridge past question? You must find it there. Last year question was from Cambridge past question. So as a physics teacher, I expect you to have virtually 
Core resources that has to do with physics, if not all, at least you have up to 70% in your library. So if you have that, that will actually help you to want to simplify what you are going to teach your students. The more you better, the better your student also. So, for question one, that is what we need to do. You pick your past question. You see two meter, two retort stand, clamp, automatically. Anything that makes you to see retort stand, the first thing that your mind should be talking about is simple harmonic motion. For you to know, anytime you see retort stand and uh, a ruler, first thing that should come to your mind is simple harmonic motion. Now, if now, uh, once you now what, well, the first thing that comes to your mind is what? Simple harmonic motion. Then, what aspect of simple harmonic motion? Although, you know, it's not in all cases that it's going to be simple harmonic motion, but 80 to 70 what? 70% 70 of those cases is going to be in simple harmonic motion. Are we together now? Now, you should know you have a trade now. You have a stopwatch. But anything that even makes it a stopwatch, forget it. Forget it. It's simple harmonic motion. Once you see the stopwatch, forget it. Don't think of any other thing again. You are now thinking about simple harmonic motion. But now I left for you to know the manner in which they actually want to test the simple harmonic motion. Because I can test the simple harmonic motion using a string. I can test this using a pendulum ball, and I can also test it using a ruler, like the case of the one I have here. For me to have two ruler, it means I have to set one of the ruler in oscillation, while I use the other one to measure the length of the rope that I will be using to attach it. I will together now. Now, from this experiment now, I can deduce that we are going to be plotting the graph of T squared against uh, R. And the general might want to be crazy more, they might want you to what, consider the time and the angle of what? Uh, the angle of displacement, the displacement angle. So you should what, be able to set a question around this as a teacher. Now as a student, the essence of you getting a past question is not just for you to copy the back answer. Are you getting this now? In most cases, when you look at those past questions, the back answers are wrong because they are not being solved by professional in most cases. And I think I'm familiar with errors in jam, uh, past question, like uh, to an extent, why past question used to be accurate because I think majority of the solvers used to see the marking guide and they always use this for their solution, or like jam. If you actually want to see the true color of what past question, buy jam past question. Just buy one. Then start checking the back answer and compare it to your solution. You make your teacher look stupid. Are you getting this now? Why? Because they are not given to professionals and they are not exposed to the marking guide. So they just solve based on what they think. A, 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 very, a, a good example is this as for students. Check 2006 number 19. Jam question. Uh, the person states that a shooter wants to fire a bullet such that its horizontal range will equal three times its maximum height. At what angle should it fire the bullet to achieve this? Out of the options that we have, then we have 45 degrees there. The whole of the past question in Nigeria, huh, I'm not talking of other countries now, but in Nigeria, I think they are more that than the right down. They all choose what? 45 degrees. But is that the right answer? No. Why did they choose 45 degrees, sir? This is the reason. Because the rate of the projectile is set to the maximum when theta is 45 degrees. But is that the question they are asking? No. So, as for students, read your book. Then, you are to guide yourself with past question for you to know how examiner actually want to test the objective of each topic. That's the essence of you having the past question. This particular one you are seeing now, it's not meant to, it's not meant for you, it's meant for teacher. But for you to see it now is a plus. So please get ready. And for this particular question, I will only expose uh, a certain year that you can find a similar question of this in your past question, and that is 2009. So for your question one, check 2009, the question there is quite similar to this. Are we together now? So that will give you an idea on how to set up your apparatus. Then for question two, 
Question two used to be question that every student, even teacher, used to run for. I don't know why. But it's the simplest. It used to be optics, you know. It's not, I'm, I'm not even, I don't even think any student should fail physics practical again because it's like a, it's like a default now. That your number one will be mechanics, your number two will be optics, your number three will be electricity. It's what you are familiar with. And absolutely, they are still testing the same knowledge. As at this particular question now, missing ray box, missing convex lens, missing screen, missing meter rule, and lens order. As a student, not even as a teacher now, you should know that they want you to verify this particular law. Now tell me which of the textbook of physics you have that doesn't have this. And you have been given clear that what? F is what? 50 centimeter. So what you want to test now is that can you actually verify the image height and the one object height? So from this now, it makes your work so easy. So, and uh, if you check your past question, we have enough question on this. You don't even need to go far from it before you find it. And lastly, is uh, question three. I have received nothing less than 10 to 15 calls from teacher based on electricity. I still no see, uh, I still can't uh, really point out why we still have problem as far as electricity is concerned. And I think this is the problem. Our school, we have uh, a lot of apparatus, but only few of those apparatus are functioning. So as a physics teacher, I expect you to know the apparatus that is working and the one that is not actually working in your school. Are we together now? So kindly check those apparatus before you make use of them. If you are very sure of the apparatus you are using, then it's very simple. Electricity is one of the simplest of all because it's so direct. Now, this year now, I know for us who have seen Constantine Wire, we are expecting Joki. Joki is not here now. And you all know that Constantine Wire is always on top of the ruler that we have in a meter rule or a meter bridge or a potential meter. But you can also have it without getting attached to those particular instruments. Now, I've seen a lot of, uh, what is it called, uh, psychic uh, set of, of teachers that they attach the Constantine wire on top of another resistor. No, it shouldn't be. When you attach the Constantine wire on the resistor, it's more or less like you are increasing the rate of resistance of that particular resistor. And I will tell you, for you to look at this experiment, what they actually want to test, you can easily predict it. It's also talking about Moore's law. Because we have what? V to equal what? I R. So all this law, they are here to guide our results. So I can easily tell, if you look at it now, from this particular point of view now, they want to know the resistance of what? Of this particular wire. And what? What am I to tell you now? They want to know the relationship between length and what? Resistance. That is, if you increase the length, what will happen to the resistance? Is, it, is the resistance going to increase or decrease? Are we together now? So, uh, I think I will talk more about this in my next video so that we can easily break this concept down and I will give you hint on what the question is like and uh, of course, I will give you this diagram for this. But hopefully, by next weekend, we should be able to drop the videos on each topic. But pre all that time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do. And don't forget to su su support the course of the project of the mini lab. You, your support is highly needed, like seriously, we really need it. We don't need to wait for our egg before we have practical done on this channel. But the only time school will be ready to sponsor you is when UI is around the corner because they also want the students to pass, not only their students. And that's why you see this particular school giving us this avenue to come into their school, make a video, use their lab. I must tell you, I've been going to different schools, but Kemp's is kind of different in the sense that they have virtually all the apparatus in physics, all the apparatus. 
not just one, not two, a person that can serve 50 students at a go. Everything is there. So they are ready to sacrifice for all, just for us to get everything so that I can have the value. You know, people get tired also. So don't let us continue using our own to inconvenience them. So please, if we are able to set up this apparatus or set up this mini lab brother, this can assist both myself and she. And don't forget, if you also want to give me a cup of coffee, I don't mind. Just, just let it be part of you. Once I just you can see the account of all this thing, sure. If you know if you are giving money for coffee, just let it put it there that this is for coffee, not for the lab. Because any money I'm receiving from the, that I'll be receiving from you guys now, I'll thought is for me mini lab wages. So if you are giving me for uh, the charge card or coffee, just simply let me just know from the description. Okay guys, uh, by his grace, we are going to start our marathon class by next weekend. By next week, probably on Thursday, because this weekend, I also want to go for O and B. So I will not be able to start this weekend. And I am very, very sure you will like that we are going to cover the WAHEX syllabus only for five, five to three days. I will cover it strategically. It's what I've been doing. Uh, I think I want to do it for you guys for jam this year, but I think I'm looking for money, so I did it outside my channel. And you can testify. I think the list of our students has 35. Yeah. And I, I have a subscriber here that can actually testify at uh, the subscriber is, is from uh, Benin State, if I'm not mistaken. I think Benin, yeah. And he had uh, 305 in his jam. So uh, I know what I'm saying, I know you know what I'm saying. So guys, watch out for the uh, live, uh, what was it called? Marathon class on Y. If you want it to be live, let me know in the description box below. If you want it to just upload the video, there's no problem. But I think having it live 